everybody welcome back to another video within the generative ai tool series and in this video we'll talk about how you can interact or chat with your data that's residing within a database so within this video we'll be creating a database in mysql and we'll be loading it up with some random data and then we'll find a way to sort of chat with our data just like you chat with chat gpt right and we'll try to fetch out some answers so yeah so for that we'll be using Panas AI, which happens to be a Python library, which sort of eases up for you to interact with your data. So your data can reside within CSV, Excel, Postgres, MySQL. So it has a bunch of different connectors. Uh, so yeah, we have Postgres, we have MySQL, Generic SQL, Snowflake, Databricks, Google BigQuery. So you can choose from any of these. And another good thing about is about uh, Panas AI is that uh, it has a range of LLM integration, so you can choose from, you know, a, a great deal of uh, LLMs out there. So we have Bamboo LLM, OpenAI, uh, Google Palm API integration, and we also have Amazon Bedrock uh, models available to us. Um, I think they're provided within a limited capacity, but we'll, we'll sort of explore it later. So yeah, let's build some stuff out of it, right? So before we do that, let me introduce you to the database itself. So I found it on GitHub and it seems pretty, pretty nice. Uh, so we have this database, which is called classic models and it's form of an e-commerce based data. Um, so you have products, you have product info, you have different offices, you have employees associated with those offices and then there are customers and then there's order details and stuff. So we have quite an ample amount of data which we can play around with. So I'm using uh, SQL Electron as my database interface and I've already loaded up this database. So here we have it and here, let me execute the uh, query for the customer's table. So yeah, pretty decent stuff. Let's get into the code. Uh, so the very first three lines are associated with Panas AI. So I'm just importing smart data frame. Uh, and then we have my skill connector, which we'll be using to sort of uh, connect and sort of fetch uh, tables and convert it into data frame uh, through this particular connector. And then we have OpenAI as our default LLM. Uh, so uh, since I'm going to use OpenAI, I need to put my API key within the uh, .env file uh, because of which I'm using .env here. And I'll once you sort of uh, get to uh, get to work with Panas AI, uh, you need to sign up with Panas AI Hub uh, from where you can fetch out the API key, which will be required within this implementation. So all right, so we. Uh, we run load.env, we fetch out our OpenAI key, we load it up within our uh, LLM initializer. So pretty decent stuff. Then we have our MySQL connector uh, through which we are uh, sort of connecting with our local host, uh, port 3306. Uh, now I'm sort of referring my database over here. Uh, classic models, root password, and I'm referring to this table over here, which I just showed you. All right, so we have this where uh, uh, where clause, sort of a where clause, not exactly a where clause, but we can specify our conditions over here. So for example, here I'm using customer name is equal to this particular fellow. It's kind of hard to sort of pronounce it. So I'm not even going to try, <laughs> but you get it right. So we can add a lot of stuff here within this array and we can sort of like, uh, uh, in sort of use the array format as well. Uh, so this is pretty nice. And then we convert it into a data frame. Uh, I'm providing my LLM as a configuration right here. So it takes, uh, 
it, it can also take the source of your data, but in our case, the source of our data is through MySQL, so we're gonna use MySQL. In case you have like a CSV, you can just, you know, throw in your, uh, you know, the link or the relative path uh, to your file. Then uh, we are sort of chatting with our data frame and printing the response, and that's pretty much it. That's all the code we need. So here, uh, what I'm gonna do, since I'm, uh, I'm basically limiting my data to this particular fellow who were here. So this is our guy, uh, if you can see it right. So yeah, this is our guy, customer number 103. And we have a phone number, we have address line. So basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to fetch this particular information within my, uh, within my questionnaires. Like what is the address of this particular fellow? So let's go ahead and run it. Not this particular terminal. Let's use this. Um, so our file name is, so I'm just going to type python main.py. Let me zoom it out for you guys. And there we go. We get the right address right here. So pretty nice, huh? Then we have city, state, country. So what we can do is like, we can get rid of this so that we get the whole data frame and Let's format this a bit better. And we can ask like uh, how many people are from um, Frankfurt. And that's our question. Let's save it and let's rerun this. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for a while. All right, so we get the answer too. So let's go in our database and select from customers. Let's convert this into a count customers where city is equal to Frankfurt. And we get the answer too. So you can't, you guys can see how how great this tool is like it's a game changer for sure um so it's like a wrapper upon uh mysql and it really gives you that flexibility and extensibility to interact with your data uh so it's good to see it's great to see that llms are not just limited to you know uh some amount of data within this world but it can interact with your data obviously um uh, there are certain limitations associated with LLMs, but uh, just seeing this, the possibility of it is kind of great. So let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, and that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.